and today's video is going to be a Lush Halloween Hurl. I think I have one of each of the amazing new fall and Halloween launch goodies. So we're going to go through them, we're going to smell them together. Lots of new products this year and I'm very excited about them. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Also, excuse my face. I feel like my eyes are so disgustingly swollen today. You guys, yesterday I went to one of the most amazing antique shows of the year here in Texas. It is called Round Top and I'm not even joking. It's just like miles and miles of tents and old shack houses full of amazing antiques. So I went yesterday and I did a lot of picking. I found a lot of crusty old baby dolls. But as I was digging through the dust, I feel like my voice sounds weird today too, but as I was like digging through the dust, I must have like stirred up the worst allergies imaginable because I woke up this morning and my eyes were like, Ugh, and I've been trying to use one of these things, which is basically Orbeez. Orbeez trapped in plastic, but it's kind of like just hurting my eyes more than helping. I don't know, but it's Vlogoween. So there's no stop in this train. We're filming today anyway. So up first is a bath bomb that I am very excited about. It is just called Pumpkin, and I bet you can see why. He is just a big old jack-o'-lantern head. I really love his face. It is so adorable. And I think I just saw a little bit of purple sort of peeking out here. So I wonder if it's sort of like a color changing bath bomb where the outside is going to be like a yellowish orangish color, but then as it starts to come apart and disintegrate in the bath, maybe there are some purpley colors in the center. There are lots of bath bombs and Lush that are like that. Ooh, it does have a very nice fall smell, but I'm also smelling some citrus, maybe a little bit of oranges. I always like to try and see if I can figure out what the notes of the fragrance are before I look it up on the website, but I'm gonna go ahead and just look it up. It says that it is a spicy, sweet perfume full of exotic pimento. I've never heard of that before. Well, I've heard of like pimento, but I thought that was like a vegetable. No. Um, also, sweet vanilla and warming cinnamon. Up next is another bath bomb, and this is called Monster's Ball. Oh my gosh, is he adorable or what? He is supposed to be a colorful cyclops. So I definitely bet that this is one that you can drop in the tub and he's going to fizz out and make a beautiful myriad of colors in your bath. I keep wanting to like get a bowl of some kind and film demo videos for you guys. I don't know if people would be like, that's so wasteful. But the cool thing about doing bath bomb demos is then you can take all that fragrant water and just like dump it in the bathtub, you know what I mean? So like you can still use it. I don't know, I'm always tempted to film demo videos, but then I'm like, wait, do people even care? This says that it is supposed to create layers of pink froth on top and then deep purple and blue waters as its fruity lime and neroli perfume fills the air. I don't know what neroli is. I forgot to smell it. I forgot to actually smell it. Ooh, this almost smells a little bit grapey to me, like a nice grape soda or a grape punch. I like the smell of this one even more than the pumpkin one. That surprises me a little bit because I'm like a fiend for all pumpkin smelling things, like all the Bath and Body Works stuff that's like pumpkin cupcake, pumpkin latte. I like stock up on those candles for the rest of the year. Next thing that we have is another, I think that this is, yeah, this is a bath bomb as well. And this is called Autumn Leaf. And I have seen demos of this online and it looks amazing. Definitely lots of swirls of different color going on here and it's just a nice leaf shape. It's like green and yellow swirled on the top. Oh my gosh, okay. 
Now I think this one is my favorite. I feel like every single Lush video I do, it's like I smell one thing and I'm like, oh yeah, that's good. And then I'm like, wait, no, I like this one better. Wait, no, I like this one better. It's like everything I open up is like suddenly my new favorite. Are you like that? This definitely smells a little bit more woodsy to me, which is like my favorite fragrance family. I love things that smell crisp and like trees. It's perfect for me. So this says that it is a grounding yet uplifting perfume. This is a Bergamo, um, Neroli, again, and Sandalwood. So I think that that is what's creating that woodsy smell. Up next we have something which I'm just now learning, unfortunately, did not survive the Texas heat here. Um, so this was supposed to be the ghost product and I was so looking forward to seeing his cute little face. He just looks like a sack of frosting now, you know, like that you would pipe onto the top of cupcakes or something. You guys know that I love all the ghostly things in the world. I'm definitely still going to use him, just cut him out of this little plastic bag and plop him into the bath water. I love these luxury bath melts. I feel like especially as seasons start to change, I love using them in the fall, in the winter. Once the weather starts to get a little bit chillier, my skin starts to really dry out. It's very disgusting. So I feel like I can add these into the water and it definitely does make my skin just feel very conditioned and smooth. Ooh, and this is just a very nice smell. Very calming. This is supposed to create like a milky bath and it smells very much like cocoa butter, which is the only, okay, it says um, it's perfumed with warming ginger and a bouquet of floral and citrus oils. I do smell a very cocoa butter smell that's very relaxing to me. It's night. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use him in my bath tonight because I certainly can't sit him out for the season and then be like, hey guys, look at this cute looking bath stuff. What is this? It's October, still 90 degrees. I don't know if we're gonna get winter at all this year. We're definitely not getting any fall. Sometimes I wish I lived somewhere that had seasons. Up next, I have the Lord of Misrule Shower Cream. And there is also a bath bomb, of course, that coordinates with this scent. I feel like this is a reoccurring Halloween item that we see year in and year out. I know that this product is a lot of people's absolute favorite. They stock up on it. I've had some people come to my Lush store before and literally buy every Lord of Misrule bath bomb that they have. I think it was like two or three years ago, like I didn't get one at all that entire season because so many people had come in and done just that. They just buy them all. I definitely have had this before. I'm not gonna lie. My favorite thing about this is the color. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you. It definitely makes me feel like I have like alien skin or maybe that I'm just turning into a gator. It has a sweet and spicy scent to it. As you lather it up, it does keep that amazingly electric green color. It's beautiful. It smells so good. This is just one of those scents where I can definitely see why they just keep bringing it back over and over again because it's amazing. I hope that this is never a product that they retire because I feel like me and loads of other people would definitely miss it. Up next is another brand new product for this year and hilariously enough, it's called Goth Fairy. Oh no, this one got a little bit melted also. Uh, but these products are incredibly easy for them to melt because you know, they're supposed to melt in your hand. They are a shimmer bar. So it's sort of like a solid lotion in my opinion. I'm not sure if that's like really something that's lush calls them. You just kind of like work it in your hands and it makes this awesome subtle shimmer which you can then like rub all over your body, all over your shoulders. A lot of times I put it where I would like highlight on my collarbone and stuff like that. I don't know if you guys can see it on my fingers. You know it's just a very natural looking shimmer. It's not as dramatic as a highlight. It's not like putting like a body glitter powder or anything like that on your body. It just gives you like a nice shimmery healthy glow. 
Oh, once again, it kind of has like a little bit of a fruity, grapey smell. Almost smells a little bit like candy. I'm trying to remember what specific Halloween candy it reminds me of but it makes me think of Halloween candy. Once again, I'm gonna just show you guys a picture of it so you can see its cute little face. Once again, it says it has berga bergamot, bergamot, I don't know how to say that word, um, and grapefruit oils. It is supposed to be a very fruity scent, and it says that it's supposed to leave your skin with beautifully iridescent sparkles. Up next is a solid soap for this year. Once again, I think it's brand new. I don't think that they have ever had this scent before or this product before, and it is called Magic Wand. It does smell like a similar soap or bath wash or bath bomb I've had before, and I know that Lush does that sometimes, like they will make a different product out of the same signature scent that they've used before. I can't think of a good example for that. Enzyme rich pomegranate, uh, detoxifying charcoal in the soap's black outer layer. That's amazing. Um, what was it that I keep talking about Demon in the Dark? That was one of my all-time favorite Lush products and I'm forever sad that they don't make that one anymore. It was amazing. But anytime I get a soap like this from Lush that has like an outer layer like this, it will always remind me of Demon in the Dark. This is definitely another one of my favorite scents out of all of the products we have smelled today. It's amazing. Up next is the product that I showed you guys first when we first started this video many, many minutes ago. It is another solid soap in the scent Fireside, and I am just crazy about how this soap looks. Very, very cute. Definitely another one of my favorite, like, packagings for this Halloween launch. This soap is supposed to help make you feel cozy and relaxed. Once again, I think it is like one of those spicy and sweet fragrances, much like Lord of Miserable. This one does have clove, once again like Demon in the Dark, but I think it also has vanilla? Vanilla? Show me vanilla! Yeah, okay, so it is clove and vanilla. I was right about something for once. These are all the new things and these are all the things that I have. I also got a couple of my shampoo bars. I talk to you guys about these all the time. These are like my staple must have Lush products. My two favorite shampoo bars are Carmel Kumba, which is this green one. And you get about 90 washes out of these and they're only $10 a piece. So this really gives you a bang for your buck. My other favorite shampoo bar is new and that is the cinnamon one and this promotes new hair growth and I really think that it works. Every time I use this one religiously for like a couple months in a row I start to notice like a couple little like brand new baby hairs sprouting up and I'm like wow this is cinnamon and it smells amazing. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's hurl. I think it was on the longish side, but I had a lot of stuff to show you. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can find me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!